Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I am talking about my favorite pastime which is cleaning and organizing. So I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I do to keep my bedroom clean and tidy 24-7. It is well known in my family of literally 10 people who all live in the same house that I have the cleanest and most organized bedroom in the entire house. And so these things obviously work for me. My bedroom is like my serene place. It's the place that I can go to calm down and get away from the craziness, as I'm sure a lot of you can relate to as well. And so obviously we wanna take care of our spaces because it really affects our mindset. And that is why I'm sharing this video today. So if you wanna figure out exactly what I do to keep my bedroom clean and tidy, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I do every single morning is make my bed right away that means that I literally get out of bed and I make my bed right there on the spot I don't brush my teeth first I don't go to the washroom first I make it right away so that I get a bit of a productivity boost because I feel like having a made bed just kind of sets the tone for the entire bedroom it's just like when you walk into someone's room and their bed isn't made it just it doesn't feel right you know so this is something that has become an automatic habit I don't even have to think twice about it it's basically the same as brushing my teeth and so it's definitely something that you can easily create into a habit yourself the next way that I keep my room clean and tidy all the time is by keeping everything in its own rightful home so every single thing that I own has a place in my bedroom it does not go anywhere else besides that one place and this really helps me to keep everything where it's supposed to be and it also prevents me from having like catch-all areas Areas, which is basically a spot where you just throw anything that you don't know where to put it so a lot of homes have a lot of catch-all areas you might know some of these as junk drawers or just little trays or platters on top of surfaces that you throw your items on and for me that is something that goes completely against having a tidy room and also being a minimalist knowing that everything has its rightful spot the next way that I keep my bedroom looking tidy and clean all the time is by keeping keeping my surfaces as minimal as possible. So this means that I do not have any unnecessary clutter Honestly, you will never see a surface in my bedroom with random stuff on it. It's either my water bottle, which I use and pick up all the time, or it's my laptop because, you know, I'm moving around my bedroom, but never is there going to be clutter like random wrappers or pens or papers, things like that. And the reason why I do this is because I feel like having clean surfaces in the room also sets the tone for the entire bedroom as well and I feel like when there's clutter on surfaces that's exactly what your eye is attracted to when you walk into the room so making sure that surfaces are minimal and that there is nothing that doesn't either serve as beauty or function is definitely key in keeping the room looking tidy the next thing that I do to keep my room looking tidy all the time is by putting away my stuff as soon as I am done using it now this is something that I think I've struggled with in the past because I wouldn't fold clothes correctly or I wouldn't you know put them in the right spot but this is something that I've really tried to work on over the past year or so because I feel like when you use your items they should be going back where they belong right away like they shouldn't be sitting on a chair sitting on the floor and it also is just a way of respecting the items that I own and it keeps the space looking very very tidy and neat as well the next thing that I do to keep my room clean is by doing Doing a weekly clean so when I clean my room it basically involves dusting surfaces vacuuming the floor and honestly my bedroom collects so much dust you guys and if you don't know dust is actually basically microfibers of the clothing and textiles that are in a space and it's also a combination of dead skin cells, which I think is absolutely disgusting. So I don't want those rolling around in my room. So I try to vacuum as soon as I start seeing those little dust bunnies. And another thing that I do is I wipe surfaces down and that includes the items that are actually on my surfaces, like my perfumes, any picture frames that I have, I try to wipe the tops of them. And I pretty much make sure that not even one spot in my bedroom has dust left on it because 
because you can really feel it when you walk into a room and it really makes the space feel very stuffy. So having that weekly clean, which is usually on like a Saturday or any day of the week really when I have a bit of time, doing this doesn't take too long, probably 30 minutes at the most. And for me, it's therapeutic. So try to get into a schedule or a routine of cleaning your bedroom and it will definitely make sure that your space feels clean and looks tidy all the time. The next thing that I do to keep my room looking tidy is I actually tidy up and put certain things away both before I leave the house for work and also before I go to sleep. And the reason that I do this is because I want to come home to a clean bedroom. I don't want to come home and have to put stuff away that's not where it doesn't belong. And I also don't want to wake up to a space that isn't clean. So doing this is very, I guess, habitual for me now because anytime that I see an item out of place or maybe crooked, I know that's kind of crazy of me but it actually does help. I actually just fix it right away when I see it and so that definitely gets me into the mindset of tidying up the space anytime that something is out of place. The next thing that I do is I actually go through my drawers and cabinets at least once a month to reorganize and remind myself exactly what is in those places and the reason that I do this is because often we organize our bedrooms or our living rooms and then we kind of forget what is in the cupboards and drawers so by doing this i remind myself of the items that i own and maybe the things that i have as backstock like extra vitamins or extra skincare and it also helps to prevent me from purchasing those items in addition to the ones that i already have i feel like this just gives the whole bedroom a good refresh and it just kind of soothes my mind knowing that everything is in its rightful place and that it has a Home. The last thing that I do to keep my bedroom looking tidy and clean and just to make sure that all of my belongings are you know being taken care of is by doing the laundry weekly. So Jer, my boyfriend and I share a laundry day on Sundays and that is when we do all of our laundry. No matter how small the load is, I'll just do like a small cycle with cold water. I try to do the laundry and put it away as soon as it comes out of the dryer so that it you know goes back into my bedroom and into my wardrobe before the new week starts. So those are the ways that I keep my bedroom clean and tidy 24-7. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. And if you did, as always, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below because I post every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.